Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete and this is my motivational video. The topic of today's video is don't talk about setbacks. Have you ever things go wrong in a race or an event, maybe to cause you to quit or just at least have a horrible event or a game, you have a horrible game and then you're like reaching to try to feel better because you feel so crappy about yourself that you start talking to everybody about it. You know, and you're hoping somebody's going to say something magical that's going to make you feel better. Well, I recommend not doing that. It doesn't work. Most people, if they say something to you, even if they want to help you, at least in my case, makes me feel worse because I'm a no excuses guy. So what could somebody say to a guy who's a no excuses guy to make him feel better? Nothing, you know? So I don't, I don't reach for that. So I learned from that. In fact, as I passed my knowledge on to a friend of mine recently, and I want to share his experience. So he was in, he swims with me in the bay. He's a, he's a, he's a really good swimmer. And he had a setback in one of our, our races, one of our, not a race, but in a, a swim. And he had a setback. He ended up, he, you know, it was one of those days where everything went wrong. It was rough conditions. And his mind started spiraling, right? He started getting negative and negative and negative. And then by about three quarters of the way through, he quit, right? He felt horrible about it. You know, he was talking about, I could see how horrible he felt about it. Now, he's a great, you know, he's been very successful in life. And so this was a huge, a huge setback for him. And he was talking to me about it. And he says, you know, I'm figuring out what I need to do to finish this next time. I'm, you know, to keep my mind under control. That's one thing everybody, you know, who does these swims, they really, really work on their mind. More than any of the other events I do, the swimmer, the cold water marathon swimmers work on their mind way more than anybody else because they have to. And what I've seen, and so he said, I've been, you know, I'm meditating now, I'm working, I got all these plans I'm putting in effect. And then he says, well, but, he says, but the worst part is though, when I talk to people about this, he says, I feel like crap. And I go, you know, I don't feel good about myself. I said, well, let me tell you what I learned. Don't talk about it. <laughs> I've had setbacks in business. I've had setbacks, lots of setbacks in these events and races. And I've done the same thing. I go out and I, you know, and I want to tell everybody around it and, and told, you know, about them, about what went wrong and what, you know, all these excuses and thinking they're going to make me feel better, right? Well, I'm a no excuses guy. That's how you're real successful in life. You got to be a no excuses guy. No excuses, right? And so I say to myself, well, so when these guys start telling me what to make me feel better, it doesn't work. So that's the knowledge I passed on to my, a friend of mine who recently, you know, like I said, who he talked to me about it. But I said, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it to anybody. Use it as fuel. Use it as power. You know, be thankful that this didn't happen in your main of swim he's training for. This was just a training swim. But know how painful it was to quit. Feel that pain. Feel that pain and say, this is not going to happen again. This is not going to happen again. And you, you know the pain. And so when you're in your swim, you're using this as fuel. I know how painful it is to quit. I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting till I get to shore. I mean, that's what I'm using. That's what I'm using. That's why I'm going to make the English Channel this year. And that's the same fuel he's using. I now he knows how painful it was. And I said, and, don't, and just use it as a positive. And as far as your, your last swim goes, or your, you know, the swim that you, you didn't finish, don't talk about it anymore. And he looked at me and he goes, what swim would that be, Bill? Ha <laughs> ha! I go, I love a good listener. <laughs> so anyway, if you had some setback, don't talk about it. Figure out how to use it as fuel for your next, when you try it again, and use it as power and fuel, like turbo fuel. Anyway, if you're interested, please follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Also, sign up for my email to get on my email list. And if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the YouTube comment section. And if you're interested in having me talk to your team, your group, your company, your organization, please email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com and we will fire you up. Thank you.